Golf Central Update. Brought to you by TaylorMade. We are pleased to be joined by the champion golfer of the year. I'm talking about Shane Lowry, who joins us in Florida, not in his home country of Ireland. We'll get to that in a moment. But Shane, we talked prior to the interview, and your family is okay physically, health-wise, and that's great news. But of course, mentally, emotionally, this has been a toll on all of us with uncertainty and concern. What have you reflected on during this time? Yeah, it's um, obviously it's it's very strange times, and it's and it's something that. I mean, you could never really envisage, could you, at the start of the year, you know, you're just looking forward to getting back going. And, you know, you're looking forward to the majors and, you know, first and foremost, the Masters. And and then when, when stuff, you know, when everything gets cancelled and it, and it stops happening, you kind of, it's just weird. And to be honest, the week after the players, I found it quite difficult mentally. Um, you know, I found it was a bit like moping about on the couch a little bit and didn't really know what to do with myself. So... You know, after the first week, I had some calls with, like my coach and my team, and I just sort of wanted to put some uh, plans in place and some, uh, you know, maybe some little goals that I want to achieve over this time. Because look, who knows how long it's going to go on for? And um, hopefully, it doesn't go on as long as uh, you know some people are saying. And hopefully, we can come out this the far side. But you know, I sort of deal dealt with it quite well over the last few weeks, and I've just kind of set some goals every day that I like to achieve and. And, you know, at the end of every evening, I tried to take those off and hopefully I can I can achieve those along the way. I mentioned you're in Florida. You opted not to go back to your home country of Ireland. Walk us through that process after the PGA Tour canceled the players and tournaments after why you decided to stay in the United States. Yeah, well, we, you know, we've got a, a nice little house here in Florida and we're pretty happy here. And we, we figured if we go back to Ireland, you know, the weather is not as good and maybe you know <laughs> we'd be confined to our house a little bit more although talking to people at home the weather has been good and, and people are able to get out for walks and stuff but um you know we just made our decision we were happy here and we, we just agreed that it was going to be the three of us just anyway and and we decided to do that and we actually we were going to fly home the first week in may because we sort of figured that maybe there was going to be no golf for the summer and maybe not till the end of the summer and then obviously the PGA Tour have come out with the new schedule, so we've decided we only decided yesterday not to fly home, and and we're going to stay here for the foreseeable future. Yeah, I know you and your wife Wendy and your daughter Iris uh, are hungered down here in Florida. We're glad to have you in our country, by the way. Let's do talk about what's happening in the world of golf. The PGA Tour releasing its schedule for the calendar year, the remainder of the calendar year in 2020, starting. June the 11th at Colonial. What are your likes and concerns about this schedule? Yeah, obviously, um, you know, first and foremost, when when this new schedule was announced, I was very excited. I'm, uh, I had a bit of an extra pep in my step yesterday um, because it sort of gives me a date. And like, you know, I've never had it in my whole career where I haven't had like a date to work towards. And, and that's the way the last few weeks have been. And, and this gives me a date, obviously, look, um, the PGA Tour wouldn't come out and say this if they weren't fairly confident that it was going to go ahead. So, you know, I'm going to work towards that. I think I have like just over 50 days until until the week of the Colonial. Um, you know, so I'll be going there hopefully. And obviously, all our concerns are whether everybody's going to stay healthy. You know, hopefully we get it to a stage where um, nobody gets sick or. God forbid, if anything, you know, critical happened to anyone, it, it would be, you know, horrific. So I think my concerns straight away are for the health and safety of me, my friends and my family. So, you know, they're my first concerns. But obviously, I'd be very excited to get back on the golf course. Like I've, our golf courses in Florida here in Palm Beach have been closed for three and a half weeks now. So I haven't hit a shot in three and a half weeks. And I actually really miss the game. I've never... I've never missed the game as much as I, I, I do now. And, you know, I just miss going out and hitting a bucket of balls in the evening or going playing nine holes with one of my friends or something like that. I just miss the simple things. And obviously, I really miss competitive golf as well. And look, hopefully we can get back in Colonial. And I think, look, the PGA Tour are a huge organization and, and they will not make decisions lightly and they will make sure that we're all safe and we're all healthy. And, you know, I think one thing to kind of reiterate is 
the PGA Tours, at first and foremost, the, the one thing they're, they're concerned about and the one thing they want to look after is the health and safety of players, caddies, whether it be spectators, um, broadcasters, uh, cameramen, people like that. So I think nothing will go ahead unless everybody is going to be safe. Um, you also compete on the European Tour, and that tour right now in a bit of difficulty. They've canceled a number of tournaments. They furloughed some employees. Um, yeah. Pelly said that he is going to probably have smaller purses with tournaments moving forward. Um, how concerned are you from a business perspective about the European Tour right now? Yeah, obviously, look, I think I'd be quite concerned. Um, I think, you know, the whole world is concerned, isn't it? No matter what business you're in, whether it be the golf industry or anything, I think the whole world is concerned about what's going to happen in the next sort of year, 18 months, two years. Um, I think for the European Tour to move forward, they're probably going to have to reduce the purses. And I think, you know, Keith and, and the guys at the top of the European Tour are the right men to make those decisions. I will do my best to support the European Tour as best I can when I can. Um, you know, and hopefully our players in Europe can get back playing. But I think it's just, it's tricky because we play in so many different countries around the world. And, you know, we, we play a lot in Asia and we play a lot in the Middle East and, um, you know, obviously around Europe and stuff. So I just, it's a very, very tricky time for them. Look, I, I think they have the right people at the head of it and hopefully they can pull through and, and we still have a good tour at the end of it. But, um, you know, I'd be confident in in the people at the front of the European Tour that they can come through this. And look, we might end up having to play for smaller purses, but at the end of the day, I think everybody would be just happy back to be playing the game. Another big event on the calendar this year is the Ryder Cup at Whistling Straits. I know you'd love to be a part of that European team. Right now, you're not automatically qualified. Still some golf left to be played, but lost a number of events to probably increase your stature if you have a chance. What do you think about the qualification process now and should it be altered by your captain Padraig Harrington um, well I'm not I personally like I'm not I don't think I'm in the situation I'm not going to sit here and say like the qualification process like should be altered because you know who knows uh, what they're thinking I think I'd be very happy if the Ryder Cup went ahead and um, obviously I really want to be on that team so look that's just up to me when we do get back playing hopefully at Colonial in June that I can get back out there and hit the ground running and play some good golf and, and work towards that team. Um, there's probably going to be, have to be some hard decisions made with, with the with the qualifying process and some people are not going to be happy. But look, I'm just going to do everything to the best of my ability to make that team. And if I do, great. Hopefully I can go to Whistling Straits and help Europe win win the trophy. And, you know, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I can say, really. It's kind of... It's up to the people behind the scenes to make those decisions, and I'm. It's up to me to go and play some good golf. The RNA canceled the Open. I know that's a bitter pill for all of us to swallow, as far as canceling for 2020, but it will go on in 2021. What are your emotions of not having the opportunity to defend your Open victory? Yeah, it's. Um, you know, I found it a little bit not difficult, but. Because look, it's it's not the end of the world. Obviously, um, I get to keep Clark joke for two years, but obviously I'd like to do that the right way. Um, I'd love to be going back to St George in 2020. I think the RNA have made their decisions, you know, and possibly the right decisions. Uh, we're going to St George in 2021, and I'm going to be the defending champion. So, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. I just, yeah, just go with it and. Look, I'm going to be the Open champion for quite another while. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice going to tournaments as the Open champion. You know, bring the Clara Joe with me wherever it's needed. And, and it's pretty nice. And I'll have this trophy, you know, beautiful trophy in my house for another, an extra year. Um, look, the, the situation we're in and, and the time we're in in the world at the minute is obviously not ideal. But I think golf, look, we all can't wait to get back playing. We can't wait to get back playing competitive golf. But I think first and foremost, I think people's lives are at risk and I think people really just need to to be careful and just stay at home and just do the be everything they can. And I think the more people do right now, the quicker we'll be back playing sports and the quicker we'll be back playing golf. So that's all I'm trying to do at the minute. And then look, when we do get back to playing tournament golf, 
hopefully I can go play some good golf. I can make the Ryder Cup team. I can go and play, you know, US Open, US PGA, Masters this year, uh, go back and defend the Open next year. I think when all this is over and all this is said and done, I think we'll all be better people for it. Um, I think we just need to look after our families and our loved ones and, and come out of this the far side. Hmm. And, and like you mentioned, you get the Claret Jug for one more year. Uh, we have chatted a couple of times that you've enjoyed some beverages uh, out of that Claret <laughs> Jug, and now you get an extra year. Have you exhausted all the beverages that you want to drink out of the jug, or is there a few more since you have some extra time now? I never know. Like I'm gonna have it. I'll have it on my Christmas uh, dinner table again this year. So uh, we might have to put something in it. But uh, yeah, look, I've I've had a great time being the Open champion. Um, you know, joke to my friends that we're, we'll we'll have to go back up to Port Rush and uh, you know go for a weekend maybe when this is all said and done and and go and play some golf and maybe maybe bring the trophy with us. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's. A lovely trophy to have it's an amazing piece of history and i'm very fortunate to have it and i'll have it again this year so you know especially at christmas i think christmas is a nice time to kind of sit and reflect on stuff so i'll have it on my christmas dinner table this year again which would be nice well shane it's always good to catch up with you my friend give the best to uh wendy and your daughter iris and we look forward to seeing you out on the golf course doing what you do so well and that is play great competitive golf take care thanks guys thank you thanks for having me